But, but so you, you are kind of careful when you put your name down. That's true. Um, be, being a sports writer, I signed my name K.V. Switzer, not Catherine Switzer. And when K.V. went in on the entry form, the officials thought that it was from a guy. Um, I wasn't trying to defraud them. That was how I signed my name. And they interpreted that as a guy and they assigned me a number. Um, and during the race, then when I was wearing this number, um, the race director leapt from the press truck and when he saw that I was a girl in his race wearing a bib number and jumped off the bus, attacked me and tried to throw me out of the race. It was a terrible, terrible moment, actually. I mean, mm. um, and, and actually, yeah. I would encourage people because there are pictures of this online. And, and it, it, it's quite extraordinary. This man was so motivated to keep women out of a marathon that he was prepared to attempt to sort of tackle you to the ground. Well, he was a Scotsman. What do you think? <laughs> I don't want to malign all Scotsmen here. <laughs> he was a feisty Glaswegian, um, right. and he was cursing at me, and he was wonderful Scottish broke. Um, he was the defender of the race. Don't get me wrong. He thought that I was a clown. I was making a, a fool of him, and that um, and, and that I was there as a joke. He he couldn't believe that I was serious, mm. and I was very very serious. Um, my my coach was screaming at him, "Leave her alone. She's okay. I've trained her. Leave her alone." But but um, when he came after me again and had me by the shirt and was trying to rip these numbers off, my boyfriend, who happened to be running with me, um, was who was a 235-pound ex-All-America football player, mm. threw a crossbody block into the the um, official, to Jock Semple was his name, and sent him out of the race instead. And the photos you're talking about, of course, um, were captured from the press truck because this was the press truck was right in front of us. And it was it was just an uh, astonishing moment in time.